Hello everyone. And this time, let's check out a beautiful attacking game by Gary Kasparov. And in this chess game, Gary Kasparov has the black pieces and his opponent is Lubomir Kavalek. And this game was played in 1982. In Bosnia, Gary Kasparov was the world chess champion from 1985 until 2000. And for many chess experts, he really was the greatest chess player of all times. And because of his attacking aggressive style, he earned the nickname of the Beast from Baku. So let's check out this marvelous chess game. Lubomir Kavalek starts the game with playing c4, the English opening. Kasparov played g6, knight to c3, bishop to g7, d4, knight to f6, e4, d6, the king's Indian defense, knight to f3, and Kasparov castled h3, e5, d5, knight to a6, bishop to e3, knight to h5, knight to h2, queen to e8, bishop to e2, attacking the knight, knight to f4, Lubomir Kavalek played bishop to f3, but then f5 by Kasparov, immediately attacking, and he wants to open the f-file, h4, and queen to e7 by Kasparov, g3, attacking the knight, attacking the annoying knight, well Kasparov played knight to b4, an unbelievable move, sacrificing the knight, and Lubomir Kavalek didn't capture the knight, and he played queen to b3, after g3, knight to b4, was a very deep move by Kasparov, but if capturing the knight, if g takes on f4, then f takes on e4, attacking the bishop, if bishop takes pawn, then e takes on f4, attacking the bishop again, bishop to d4, bishop takes bishop, and if queen takes bishop, then knight to c2, forking the king and the queen. And white is losing. After f takes on e4, if knight takes pawn, well knight takes pawn was the better move. But then e takes on f4, attacking the bishop, bishop to d2, knight to d3, this is check. And white has a clunky position, let's say king to e2, then knight to c5. So after knight to b4, we have queen to b3, by Kavalek, not capturing the knight, and what a deep move, by Kasparov, and Kasparov played, knight from f to d3, this is check, king to e2, also defending the knight, f4, advancing with the pawn, bishop to d2, f takes on g3, pawn takes pawn, and Kasparov, played another unbelievable move, well he sacrificed the exchange, rook takes on f3, what a move, we have knight takes on f3, but then bishop to g4, pinning the knight, rook from a to f1, adding defense, rook to f8, attacking, knight to d1, and queen to f7, by Kasparov, the knight is overloaded, how to defend the knight, there is no way. We have bishop to e3. And then Kasparov finally captured the knight. Bishop takes on f3. Check. King to d2. And queen to d7. Rook from h to g1. Queen to h3. a3. Attacking the knight. Well, in this position, Kasparov played another unbelievable move. A very deep move. Well, he captured the pawn with the bishop, and Kavalek captured the rook. Rook takes on f8, bishop takes rook, and then he finally captured the knight. a takes on b4, queen to h2, check, king to c3, and knight to c1, attacking the queen. And in this position, Kavalek resigned. What a game. What a game by Kasparov. Well, if let's say defending the queen, let me show you the possible continuation. If let's say queen to a4, then b5, attacking the queen, 
If capturing the pawn, then queen to e2, and there is no defense. Well, white can't defend queen to d3. There is no sensible defense in this position. Queen to d3 is checkmate. So let's say a random move. Bishop takes on a7, and then queen to d3, checkmate. If defending with the knight, then queen takes bishop, king to c4, queen to d4. This is checkmate again. And after knight to c1, queen to a3 is also not working because of the obvious threat. Queen to c2, check, mate. There is no defense for white. And what a beautiful chess game by Kasparov. So this is why, after Kasparov played knight to c1, Kowalek decided to resign because there is no sensible defense and he is getting checkmated. And thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.